Hey, I'm Carbo Brother. I really want to introduce something new we've been working on. A lot of us have had our sub. We've been enjoying it. We've got the new parts in here. A lot of the upgraded function and reliability has been phenomenal, and that's what we've all been striving for for the longest time. Hence all the replacements we've done in here, you know, the stainless steel feed ramp, the upgraded trigger bar to reduce that pre-travel, and obviously the springs to reduce the trigger pull and the aluminum trigger. And then we keep moving in here. We've got the grip pins obviously upgraded, the carbon steel pins so that we don't have to worry about that bare aluminum wearing. But one remaining component in here that does give you some trouble. And obviously I know everybody instantly is gonna say, man, I don't wanna take my sub apart again. Well, take a look at this sub and you can see how filthy it is. We've gotta take them apart every now and again. So you'd put a thousand rounds through it, good idea to probably pull it apart, clean it really good. You're not gonna get all of this just from simply dumping some CLP inside the ejection port and just rubbing it with a Q-tip. You really gotta get in here, get everything cleaned up nice, now let's look at this hammer pin here. So we've got the plastic hammer bushing in the pin, right? And this is what it all rides on here. And there is a ton of troubleshooting that is involved here. One of the main issues we've seen with this hammer hinge pin in bushing is obviously the standoff here. So on this one, we're sitting right at 165 thousandths. Ideally, you wanna be at 175. And the problem here is this plastic bushing actually is just kind of a slip fit pressed on, which means that it's never securely in one place. So it has the ability to move on this dowel pin here. So that is a huge problem. The other problem is it's plastic and you can see there how it's wearing and it's chipping away. And eventually it's gonna all really get ratty. Some of the subs that we've had and we've put a ton of rounds through, this thing just looks like a dog chewed on it. I mean, it looks terrible. So this is a definite wear item, potential replacement and that's something you could replace over time, but then you gotta make sure you get that spacing just right. So really kind of a frustrating scenario considering we want the most optimal reliability for our sub. Now, when you look at what we've done here, we've got a 300 series stainless steel hammer bushing, and then we've pressed in a dowel pin. So this part up here is all machined. So your 175 standoff has already been machined in there. So it's absolutely perfect. You don't need to worry about that bushing moving around. You've got a completely machined 300 series stainless steel option that'll stay right in place and it's not gonna wear. Plus we put a bunch of little radiuses on the edges so it'll be more friendly with the internal operation rather than here. You can see sharp edges on the plastic which tend to just create burrs and also tend to create problems. You want that trigger bar to function smoothly on this pin. You don't want it to get hung up. So this is a great way to help prevent any sort of malfunctions or failures internally on the sub. And we're talking down the road after you put a ton of rounds through it. So what we're trying to do here, utilize everything we can that's plastic and polymer that doesn't really cause a problem. You know, it helps keep the cost down, but obviously internal functional components, we need to make sure they are the best they can be so we don't have any potential failures, don't have any potential wear items that could be the weakest link in the function and reliability of our firearm. So really excited about this 300 series stainless steel hammer bushing and pin. It really is a complete package to ensure we have that appropriate standoff at 175 thousands up here. And that we have the most premium material to prevent any sort of wear and galling like you see here on the plastic one. So really excited about this. We're still kind of finishing up the development of it, but we should be able to roll into production pretty quickly. Now, I know a ton of guys watching this. We're post D-Day, 21 days, and we're still cranking out optic mounts like crazy, so don't get confused. We haven't slowed down production there. All right, I know I'm gonna see a ton of comments on YouTube here. Where's my optic mount? What's going on? We have cranked out a total of 700 at this point, so it's still picking up steam. Production's still moving efficiently. It's just uh, takes a little time to meet that kind of rapid demand that we got all at once. So really excited about it. This is a different machine as well. This is a lathe. So it's not pulling away any of our resources from optic mount production. So I'd never do that. So this is just a little side project. Everything's going full tilt in terms of the production, the assembly and everything else. And you can see we've got some videos on what we're doing there on the web. But this is just to give you an idea, quick little sneak peek on another component for the sub to give you that extra reliability and function we're all looking for. And what it'll do, it'll just simply drop in to everything else. So we just drop in this complete assembly now. You don't have to worry about making sure the bushing is the appropriate depth. You know, in some of the earlier videos, you would see I would like have to explain in detail for a couple minutes, push down on that plastic bushing until it's completely compressed. 
always a gray area because people are like, well, I pushed it down and you know, it felt like it was in there. And then they get it all together and then just come to find out the sub's not functioning, which is a huge disappointment. And it would always come back to this hammer bushing here. So help avoid all of those issues going forward. We're just gonna install all of these stainless steel hammer bushings in the new M series and everything. I'm actually gonna make sure that we put these in all of our range subs here. Just, it's a much more premium product, one less worry to be concerned with. You don't have to worry about this failing and causing a malfunction. So really love it. This actually idea came from the M Carver Brotherhood, which is awesome. You guys think about everything. So really wish I could take all the credit for that, but uh, definitely shout out to the M Carver Brotherhood props. You guys are phenomenal, man. When it comes to just every detail, you know, and that's cool too, because we have so many members in the Brotherhood and so many eyes on these different wear items. You know, guys are bringing up these suggestions like, hey, this looks like a potential failure point, and sure enough is. So um, really excited about it, really stoked to start rolling it out in all of the new M series as well. Um, you know, we've done everything to the sub at this point, and I say that over and over again, but you know, you guys make very valid suggestions and it's hard to argue with this one. You know, and it's gonna be nice too, in terms of assembly, when you're putting your sub together, you won't have to worry about that spacing anymore, that standoff, like not everybody's got a set of calipers and just gonna get it precise. And not to mention you get it precise, but what's to say it won't just move later on. This entire internal assembly is really working hard. You're pumping all those rounds down range. Everything is moving around in here. So we wanna make sure that we've got the best parts in here that won't fail. Because one goes down, this whole thing goes down, then you have a malfunction. I'm really excited to get this new stainless steel hammer bushing in everything. It's gonna be something that we start offering all the bundles as well. It's just a really good common sense upgrade, just like the carbon steel grip pins, carbon steel screws. Those are those longevity functional items that we want to minimize wear, minimize problems. It's just a nice little set of insurance, you know, to make sure that we don't have problems, malfunctions. We just don't wanna worry about it. So really excited about it. This is what we're doing going forward with everything, really promoting the new stainless steel hammer bushing. Just makes sense, a very good premium product. So everything here has pretty much been replaced except the sear and the hammer. So <laughs> don't really see any major need to do that yet. This was just one of those items that you could tell right off the bat. I mean, once this was brought up and everybody was comparing so much wear on that plastic bushing, it just makes sense to go stainless, nice radiuses all the way around, really made it a much better part and not to mention, it's gonna be something that lasts a lifetime. You don't have to worry about it. You won't have to replace it. You won't have problems. So that's what we're all doing here. So pretty much all we've got left for polymer is like the outside clamshells for the pistol grip and the handguard. So really cool to see we've pretty much replaced every piece of plastic internally, which is a great idea and a great way for the long run to make sure we have a good, long lasting functional sub, something that won't go down in the middle of a life and death scenario or a competition or just general shooting. It's not fun. Really excited about this. Can't wait to hear your feedback on it. We'll start pushing these out fairly soon. But obviously too, just to recap, optic mounts are the number one priority. So those are going out like crazy. So I don't want you to think we've gotten sidetracked. This is just a little side project, very simple too. So price point, ideally 1495 tops. There's a couple things that I want to do, make it a little bit better if possible, but we'll see. I mean, it'd be great to make it 995, but 1495 is definitely the most. Don't want to go any higher than that. Just don't think it makes sense to spend any more than that on something like this. But it is certainly worth 15 bucks, you know, to have that nice little extra insurance and not have to worry about these little issues right here. Really cool. Let me know what you guys think about it.